If you've never heard the story of little Mary Ellen Wilson, I think it's really important to understand the history of child abuse prevention advocacy. She was born in 1864. Her father died in the Civil War, which left her mother a widow. Her mother put her in the care of a family and she began working and paying child support for them to keep caring for her child. At one point, she was unable to financially support her daughter and her daughter was taken out of the custody of that family and put into another family. It was there where she was experiencing extreme neglect and abuse. Um, denied food, regular beatings, being forced to sleep on a floor. She had no warm clothes. She was often locked in a closet and was forbidden to go outside except for at night. It was at one of these times where she was outside at night barefoot in the middle of winter that neighbors became concerned. A woman by the name of Edel Wheeler was caring for a neighbor next door and was able to gain access to the home and see the condition of this child. Because there were no protections for children at this time um, from abuse, they had to seek out the support of the American Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals to advocate for this child. The only kinds of crimes against children and abuse that had ever been brought to court were pretty much before this only existed if the child had been murdered as a result of the abuse. So they brought it into court where she was able to testify to the whippings, the beatings, the denial of food. She was hit with scissors. She didn't even know how old she was. She could never remember a time of ever being kissed or held or hugged. And the woman who had abused her received one year in jail. But more importantly, the New York Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children was initiated the following year. But we have to ask ourselves, why did we have more protections for animals than children? And we also have to ask a very uncomfortable question. Why does our society at large do more to advocate for animals than children? And you can argue with me and say this is not true, but you can look at every organization that pre prevents abuse of animals. They receive more funding, more social media support, and more advocacy across the country than those who work to prevent child abuse. And I don't say this just as about our organization, but about every organization out there. If we want to defend children, we have to do our part. We can't just say that, yes, child abuse is wrong. We can't just wish punishment or death to come to those who abuse children. That doesn't stop abuse. Advocacy stops abuse. Education stops abuse. Effective intervention stops abuse. We have to start exposing the failures in our society rather than just shaking our head every time it keeps coming up.